Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my vlog on the bench today we have another box and this one is a Moffy name name NAC 152 mini fully discreet pre-amplifier DIY kit color DIY it's another one from AliExpress and uh, it's nice to see again. I think it's the Moffy thing. I'm not sure whether they're all coming in boxes. It's um, just nice to see the box thing, just because we get more protection in the box. Oh, all right. Got the camera. Yeah, a bit more protection. And. Uh, Nicely wrapped in a bit of this wrapping and cellophane up again. So, oh, nice small board. I think they're really, really emphasising on ensuring that the kits get there. There's nothing missing in them. And no damage. I suppose it's actually cheaper to do it with a cellophane. Oh, I was going to say than a little baggy, but there we go, we've got a baggy anyway. No. Well, so far, these boards will come like this. It's probably pretty good. That's what we got there, look. We've got the power supply part here, which is in a slightly different colour. And we've got our input. We've got star effect ground system. Uh, which just brings everything into one point. So that means there's no ground loops going on anywhere, which is really desirable. And yeah nice a lot of the stuff that seems to come through is is pretty nice these days um just looking at the other big capacitors there for the power supply now we got some these will be non-polarized by the looks of it let's have a look Good sealy bag, reusable, always comes in handy though, do you? Even if you really just get part way through the build and you put the stuff back in. Um, I'm not sure what brand they are. 105C. I think they're Korean, actually. I can't make out with it. I need to go and to the opticians. I think these are Korean. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. You know. Um, but of course having nicer ones would be always nice. I think these are supposed to be uh, Muse. Let's have a look. Nichicon look. Muse. These are bipolar. Even though that would normally indicate the positive because it's got a longer leg there. Not sure what we're going to get when it comes to the uh, transistors. We've seen in some of the kits, you don't actually get. Oh, what's that? That's a BC550. Um, yeah, I can see a BC550 there on the board. So, okay, you know, I mean, they're quite old. Whether they're absolute genuines or not, I've got no idea. And that might be a... No, that's another 550, isn't it? Or is that a 560? 560. All right, a little, uh, little amber or orange, if you like. 
oxygen positive. You can always tell with the LEDs as well, whereas the, the biggest part is the negative in there. See, on the right hand side, this long lead that I'm holding, it's got a smaller bit, and then there's a bigger chunk inside there going to the smaller pin. And that's one way you can tell if they've been snipped off. Um, which way is there is? You've got little, little ceramics. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to go through every single part. We can take a little look on the, on the website here and have a look. Uh, so here it is. Now this is pretty good. Price shown before tax, £3.02. Probably about 5 Australian and $3.20 or 30 American. Two-stage book regulator filter feature. The two-stage book regulator filter filter the power noise from entering the amplifier. DIY kit finish board. Soft start feature incorporates a voltage soft start feature that takes three seconds to reach the de designed voltage. Really? Single point grounding, yep, lovely. And uh, yeah, so there it is built up. It's quite nice, looks like we've actually got, you know, the same as what it shows in the kit. We've got these Mews here, and these are the brown ones. Uh, yeah, so bridge rectifier, uh, the input, so we don't get an input thing. Oh, I noticed there, it's only two. So we've not got a negative, positive, negative. This is going to be directly from a, no, that can't be right, because there's a bridge rectifier. Um, well, it's a 24 volt AC for our voltage source but it doesn't require 24 volt, zero 24 volts. So it's just a 24 volt AC. Um, let's have a look down here. What people say, high quality board, praise, hope finish. Proofreader will also praise this work. Excellent, be nice to see if they've actually built it, what it sounds like, it all came down safe and sound, blah, blah. Right, what have we got? Two stage, yeah, book regulator filter, soft star, all in one star point ground, single point ground, I say star point ground, more cost effective, doesn't give any spec, particularly anything, uh, this is just about the shop, about having some knowledge and putting it together. You get a schematic there so you can check for voltages if you wish to. There's your 24 volts in. You can have a little look around it and a bit of a probe around it. Always good fun. Even better here because you get to see it the way it is there. All right. Um, yeah, BC 550s, BC 560s, quantity 8550s, 2560s. Uh, one LM7824. So it's going to be voltage regulated there as well. Another way to keep the, the noise out if that's all done correctly. We've got our bipolar. Uh, these are the little tiny ceramics. Bipolar 100 picofarads. Um, I believe they're probably going to be these other ceramics. I can't actually see anything written on there. Uh, let me just zoom. Turn it over. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 100. All right. And then we got our uh, electrolytics, Nippon, Chemicon. So they're all uh, Nichicon, Nippon, Chemicon, Nippon, Chemicon. So then. All right, so let's get this thing built up. Let's get it built up. And we'll give it a go. Let's see what it, uh, see what it measures up like. Okay, so we're back with this, uh, this little preamp circuit. It's all built up. Easy enough. 
nothing to uh, nothing to complain about, nothing anything else like that. So let's take a peek at the screen. All right, I've um, I've got this set up now. I'm going to tell you now that sort of like below 120, point 120 VRMS going in, it's not really happy. It has little spikes coming up. Now I did make, I've done this a few times now, but they kept going on for too long. So I've got it to where it seems like it's its sweet spot, which is sort of like 0 0.250 uh, zero volt, RM, um, yeah, volt RMS going in. And so we're gonna quickly run that now. Okay, so this is total harmonic distortion with noise. Uh, so we get that 20 hertz, we're at uh, 0 0.05, got a little bit of a, but some of this seems to be the environment. Remember, this is noise. So as we go up the frequency, we expect to see a little bit more, really. Um, but 0 0.04, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, uh, 1K, 0 0.0, is that 0 0.0, 0 0.07. Um, and the highest part uh, we got is uh, 0 0.07, so like 0.081. So, you know, uh, that's not bad at all. 20 hertz, uh, kilohertz, even 0.049. So maybe 0 0.05 and it just drops off. If we look at the um, filter up the noise load, we see that's nicer. So we're 0 0.04, 0 0.03, so all the threes there, 0 0.0. It's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, uh, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0.033, 0
Again, very good. Uh, let's go to, um, uh, let's go to, where are we? We go to uh, 20, uh, we go to 10 kilohertz. Uh, 10 kilohertz. Yeah, you know, it's, um, I don't know a speed thing going on with this. Let's have a look at 20 kilohertz. Not a lot of difference between the 10 and 20. Uh, quick look at 50 just for the sake of it. No real point really, but there we go. We're losing a bit of the square wave there. It's, um, to be honest with you, hardly any energy up this end. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to notice it really. It's all well and good if these things can perform out to whatever frequency, but if it's going to make absolutely no difference to your listening pleasure, it makes no difference at all. Uh, all right, and then we'll look at the spectrum analyzer. So we'll just take a peek at the noise, uh, the way it is. Uh, we're just shoving some. Uh, look at that, that's not bad. That's quite nice and low. We'll take a peek at that with. Um, some test tone enabled. There we go, we've got a 2 gigahertz, 3, 4, 5, it's a little high there, what we got there. Uh, minus, that's still, that's even, yeah, minus 73.8 dB at 4 kilohertz. The rest of it sort of rolls off. Um, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. From what it shows as an out, as a response, um, it, it's, it's not bad. I've got another one. I did. Um, I said to a viewer that left the comment about um, setting up the um, AD3, uh, AD2. Sorry, and uh, bits and pieces. I've made up some some wires, and I'll go over them more on the next video. And um, because this one is, uh, you know, I was like part way through this, and and that's that. So, but on the next video, yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll go over some extra measurements as well. Just to see what it's like. But just for this now, yeah, so what's it like? It's easy enough to build, it's cheap enough, and um, it seems to be okay. And it's only needs, it doesn't need, like, uh, it needs 24 volt AC. It doesn't need 24 volts, zero, and 24 volts. So that could be easier for some people uh, to give it the 24 volts AC. And um, yeah. All right, that's it. That's what we got on that one. Uh, let, let me just, um, because I was also asked a comment about, you know, why I don't play any music. And um, the reason why I don't play any music is because if I set up, I'm setting up in my environment to the kit that I've got, and it's not going to sound, it's going to sound different to how, you know, how you set it up. But to be honest with you, the reason why we do it, like with the numbers things here, because you just get to see if there's any problem with the amplifier. It was if it was showing loads of distortion. Let me show you this. So we're going to put it back here, right? And yeah, this is pretty good. It's all uh, the highest point here. I think is point zero seven, right? Oh no, sorry, there point zero eight one, which is very close. Point zero eight. So you know, it's still pretty okay. It's not point one, and then and that's point one. I reckon that's when you got a bit of a problem. But look at what I mean when I say I, if I reduce now the input signal, the part of the strength of the input signal down to point uh, one five zero uh, volts. Let's, let's have a look at this. Just to show you, uh, it's a stark contrast to show you. Okay, so what we can see here, like generally, there doesn't look to be too much difference. There's a little bit of difference, a little bit higher noise, but as you go up here, you can see look, like, yeah, point one one five. Uh, point ones, it's, it's the, the noise is higher with the less signal you put in. If I were to put this to 100, uh, so we got uh, yeah, 100 milli uh, volts RMS. Okay, so we can see here a lot. So the lower the input volume, so if your music player is only turned on on number 10 or something, you can expect the noise floor. Uh, to be higher and that's also reflected I mean down there this is a little bit higher than it was with the higher input and here again um, 
as it goes up the frequency look if I look down here you see the noise floor creeps up and up well that because it doesn't have the energy normally goes with it but interestingly enough when we for the THD look you can still see basically this is a 0 0.04, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0.04. Uh, so we go across and it's a noise level that's affected. So possibly you're up to keep that in mind. You don't want it too high. You don't want to be put over, um, um, putting too much in. And then you don't want it too low either because you don't want that noise floor to be creeping up. So you want to make sure you enough uh, of a sig line into your uh, into your preamp from whatever type of music play you've got or you know whatever it's going to be all right that's it the end of the video um i've got a real nice one coming next time but i hope it's going to be from my remembrance of history it was a nice preamplifier um or brand i should say let's stick with the, the brand side of things and uh, it costs uh, it costs a few quid more extra in this one, so we'll see how that fares compared to something like this, which is at the cheaper end of the scale. Because if you're not already a member with uh, AliExpress, and you get this thing. I think it was like three and a half pounds or something, maybe even less than that. I can't remember. Right, catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.